It wasn't that long ago you opened up the tap without a second thought. But Flint has changed that for many people. 24 Hour News 8's Joe Lafergie is showing us a new way for you to ease that worry. Despite all the tests, despite all the reports that show lead contamination in public water supplies here in West Michigan is not a problem, a lot of people are still very nervous about what's coming out of their tab. Well, this $40,000 machine is one way to alleviate those concerns. I think that Flint raised a lot of questions that people want answers to. That's where the AA 7000 comes in. It's an atomic absorption spectrophotometer, so a lot of big words. The $40,000 machine was purchased last year before the crisis in Flint came to light with a thought it would be more convenient for certain businesses that are required to have their water tested. Like a gas station or a restaurant or um, a campground or something like that. But now, once the state certifies the machine, the health department will begin offering it to anyone who picks up a testing kit. Just add water and in a short time, the device identifies metals, arsenic, copper and lead. It heats it up to 2500 degrees, so it turns the liquid into atoms. There's a wavelength of light that's shooting up and those atoms are attracted to that wavelength and then it measures the absorbance of it. Tests for lead and arsenic will run you $18. Copper and lead will run $26. Right now, the Kent County Health Department can only test for bacteria and other more common contaminants. Testing for metals has to go to the state. With everything that's going on, the Department of Environmental Quality is obviously has a lot of samples to do. So having this analyzer here is going to help relieve some of the pressure on this side of the state. And the health department will be set up to test those metals within the month. We will let you know when that service is available. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, 24-Hour News 8.